on um, Dust Towers against a player named Max Reaver. He's a Terran, and um, this is a game I played um, yesterday. And uh, I was gonna do a live game today, but I just haven't found anything. You know, I haven't played anything worth uh, worth filming today. So um, against the Terran, you know, I'm. I'm dying a lot to uh, mass bio and that's what this guy goes for today and uh, I was trying something different, I was just trying to go you know max stalkers and then transition into um, into disruptors later on in the game so I got my uh, 13 pylon, 14 assimilator, 15 gateway a second pylon and a second assimilator um, I've also got a zealot on the way out and instead of opening with a second gateway I'm just gonna attempt to go you know like four or five uh, gateways and then go uh, and then transition into another base so I've got my Twilight Council down I'm chrono boosting out my warp gate and I've got three um, I've got three more ga or two more gateways I'm sorry two more gateways uh, opening up I've also sent my uh, pylon there, or my pylon, my probe down to build a proxy pylon so I can start warping in down there because uh, my problem is I'm, I'm not putting enough pressure on I think and um, I'm, I'm losing because I'm just letting him do whatever he wants so um, I've started making you know my, my first zealot and just sending him straight down so I've got a fourth gate going up I've got my blink coming in, should be making a mothership core, changing all them to gateways and I'm going to start warping in and start putting pressure on as quick as possible. Uh, i got a fifth gate and um, you can see his production tab, he's been making uh, uh, marines non-stop so it, it's, it is going to be a bio. Um, I don't have a second base still, um, I'm going to be you know, sort of waiting you know, these guys are just kind of sitting here waiting for him to attack and then I'm gonna uh, run straight into his base and try and do you know like a sort of uh, uh, base trade kind of a thing just making pylons just in case he finds my first one you know maybe he won't find my second or my third so I'm gonna go ahead and push in with these with my blink stalkers and see if he's got a second base he doesn't so I'm gonna go up there and, uh, and see what he's got he's got a marine so I'm just going to try and push in like uh, as fast as I can with these guys and do as much damage as possible. And there his uh, guys are. Photon overcharge on my three pylons up front. And I, I take care of that pretty well. And uh, he sneaks by me and I, I just don't know this. I, I kind of try and I focus too much down here instead of trying to defend my base. But I knocked down all of his uh, wee probes, and so I'm thinking it's going to be a uh, you know a base trade who who kills the others um, buildings first. So you know that's what I'm doing with these guys. Is I'm trying to knock out all of his all of his buildings, all of his bases, and all that. Try and uh, force him out instead of uh, instead of him GGing out. So just building more pylons, and uh, I'm going to go home and. Uh, try and wrap this up, kill his couple of guys because I mean as long as he's got a building somewhere which he he does, that's what the Terrans do in this sort of situation, they'll just uh, they'll just pick up a building and they'll just set it in the corner and you know there's nothing you can do so I'm stockpiling on a lot of stuff simply because I can't warp anything in so I've got that taken care of, I'm going to keep making some more guys going to build a second base and I'm going to uh, I accidentally found that. Um, I'm gonna go down, and he, because I wasn't paying attention, he he knocked out you know a good bit of my my guy. So I pull back. I'm thinking that he's got a really good economy. He doesn't, obviously, but I'm thinking that he does because he had you know 16 uh, 16 marines just sitting there waiting for me, and I thought, oh man, you know he's he's got my number. Well. Turns out he doesn't, which and I could have I could have finished the game in nine minutes instead of uh, instead of the I think eighteen minutes that this game is going to take. So I've got my 
I've got a bunch of my, my stalkers, and I'm going to go back up. Why am I not following him? I don't know. Anyway. And so, so I'm thinking, okay, well, since he's flying around, he's definitely got the gold base. That's where I would go. You know, if I if I was to uh, to try and get a base, that's the base I would go. So I'm just going to keep keep warping in stalkers, and you can still see from his tab that he's he's got absolutely nothing. I, I can I can finish the game as soon as I find him. I just don't. And uh, my computer's frozen for some reason, so he should jump forward here in a wee bit. Uh, but I'm going to pause it and then come back. All right. So. Um, <coughs> like I said, I wasn't sure what he had, so I'm pretty sure that he took the gold base. Turns out he didn't, which is stupid, because again, I would. Um, so I'm just looking for his base, and I don't know what he's got. Um, I don't know that he's only got 45 uh, minerals. If I did, I'd just, you know, sort of run in there and blink. But anyway, I got my stalkers, and I see that, you know, a big ball of bio, so I'm, you know, trying to just play it patient, you know. Not not trying to get in too much, so build a proxy pile on here, and um, just gonna get, you know, just gonna get a big ball and try and get in there and kill everything. So I just keep warping in stalkers. This is probably the most boring part of the game, because um, actually I just sort of just keep poking in, poking in, poking in. Um, you know, I got stalkers here just in case. Got my second base, and uh, gonna be making a few more gateways. Let's go back down here where the engagement is, and he's got a uh, a bunker. I'm actually I actually decided to get um, disruptors at this point, so I've already got my robotics facility down or going down, and then I'm gonna build my uh, robo bay uh, right beside it. So I just destroy that blink back and um, keep warping in and he'll be making my uh, um, robotics bay here in a second as soon as, as soon as he can be bothered there we go now if I had just made like an observer and just flown in there and looked and see what he had I would have known that you know he had absolutely nothing and so I should have just you know finished the game out so that's my fault and so now I have to talk more. So got the robotics bay, got the robotics facility. I'm just gonna speed it up a wee bit. So you know I just keep keep pushing in, keep pushing in. You know keep keep testing, keep seeing what I got. You can see how boring this game was. But again, I didn't know what he had, and I'm trying to play it real safe against these Terrans because you know I lose a lot. So as soon as I get it, you know, shoot it up there. Try and use it as a actually more of a. Uh, more of a scouting thing than than anything but I'm gonna get another one out and probably two more I think so I'm gonna shoot another one up there and so now I'm, I'm like okay well we can take out these bunkers with with just the disruptors you know I don't have to do anything but this is where this is where all the action is right here and again you can see his supply he's so low that I, I really could just run up there and kill him with what I've got, with the amount of stalkers I've got, you know, I've got uh, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 24, 30, 36, 37, 38, you know, so I've got plenty, I've got more than enough. I've got more stalkers sitting right here than he has supply, you know, so should have finished the game, but uh, as of right now, I'm thinking, okay, well, he's got to have a second base at this point. So, sending these stalkers to every single other uh, other mineral line just to find him, just to make sure, just to make sure that he's either confined or that I find him. So, um, you know, we got these guys. So I'm just firing away. Got one of these up, and you know, I miss. So I'm trying to pull down, trying to get him to come down the uh, the ramp and then fire away so I'm just gonna go on he's got a uh, you know a bunker there so I'm like ah crap so I'll kill anything that comes down here I'm trying just to uh, finish the game out oh and I get him oh what a beautiful shot and that's game over you know he can't come back from that 
and I knew that. So as soon as I made that shot, grabbed all my guys, and I'm gonna be coming in, coming in hot. So just st uh, blink in, destroy everything, and um, you know at this place, and then you know he GGs out. Really, he probably and and I understand why he doesn't. You know, because I I do that sometimes too. But really, should be GG and out. You know, a little faster. But whatever. But uh, I won the game, and um, it was good fun. I really like uh, really like the way I played it. Uh, simply because again, my problem, my main problem with Terran and Zergar is they're you know they're they're fast rushes. I actually played another game against the Protoss uh, Cannon Rush today, and I beat him the exact same way. Uh, that I showed in my other video, the uh, uh, cannon rush counter uh, video, and that was really good. You know, it was uh, um, did the same same exact thing and beat him again. So um, I'm having good success with that way. But uh, anyway, I'm at uh, you know 11 and a half minutes at this point, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, finish this video out. But um, if you got any suggestions against Terran Bio, you know, please leave them down below. And um, if you like it, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm like, I'm right now. I'm just looking around to see if he did have anything else. Um, but then I just quit, quit the uh, extended part of the game. So again, if you like it, share, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.